Welcome to And Now You Know, where USA Hockey officials give you quick insight into rules that are often misunderstood or unknown. So right now, we're going to talk about a glossary term from the rule book, possession and control of the puck. A common misconception is that simply touching the puck would result in possession and control, and that's not actually correct. Possession and control of the puck means a player or goalkeeper has control of the puck and propels the puck in a desired direction. Now typically where we see this happen during the course of a game is when an official has signaled a delayed penalty and the team that committed the infraction does not have possession and control of the puck. So play is continuing, the referee has a slow whistle and what we see is players, coaches, spectators see the puck rebound off a goalkeeper, deflect off a defending player's stick or body and think the referee should blow the whistle and stop play because the offending team has touched the puck. But because the team hasn't established possession and control of the puck, we're going to let that slow whistle continue and allow play to continue until the offending team gains possession and control of the puck. And again, possession and control of the puck is controlling the puck and propelling it in a desired direction. And now you know, so we can all enjoy the game together.